Well, hello there, friend. Thanks so much for stopping by and thanks for hanging out. Andrew Najera here at Drew Installs Hardware. Today, we're going to be showing you how to adjust a commercial door. Uh, and the method we're going to use to adjust this one is we're going to shim the hinges. So, there's many different ways to adjust a commercial door. One of those ways is to uh, shim the hinges. And I'll show you one method of shimming the hinges here. You see this door needs some major adjustment. It's uh, hitting the latch leg at the head down there. And down at the bottom there's a gap, but up top it was so tight that it's actually hitting the leg. It's not operating smoothly. So today I'm going to show you one way uh, to adjust that. I need to pull this door back like that. Pull it back away from that latch leg. If you see here, I got a pretty big gap on the hinge side. I need to close that up. If I close that up, it's going to give me more room on the latch side. It's going to work really well. So to do that, we're going to shim this top hinge back. Now, as I said, there's many different ways to do that. Um, there are many different ways to adjust, many different ways to shim. And I'm just going to show you one method of shimming today. So uh, to start off, I'm going to loosen this top hinge from the frame and there we go get those and these are stainless steel screws so I kept dropping them yeah you know, give it a little whack pop it out of the pocket and now i need to shim it so what am i going to use to shim it today with this method i'm going to use a zip tie so i have a zip tie here it's a little thin piece of plastic i'm not sure if it's a quite a 16th inch thick I think it's probably a 16th inch thick or a little bit less and so uh, show you how we'll use that little guy to do it now for fire rated doors you got to know that you got to use metal shims this is a non rated frame with a non rated door installed on a non rated wall but I need this I need this hinge to pivot back so in my placement of the shim what would accomplish that is if I put it right here on the, let's say the inner side of these holes, the inner side of that hinge pocket. If I put that shim there and then tighten the outside holes, that's going to pull it back. It's going to get pulled back and do just what I want. But in this method I'm using today, instead of shimming it on that inside, I, I like placing the shim in the middle. I run the shim the full length of the hinge I place it in the middle and one of the reasons I like that is that it gives me the maximum adjustability um, and it also gives me the maximum fine tunability because with a half turn of a screw or tightening one screw or the other I can really fine-tune exactly where this is going to go to start with I'm going to run these outer screws all the way in because this door needed to come back a lot it needed to get pulled back a lot so i'm just going to take the outer oh dropped her don't drop them so i'm going to take the outer two holes and i'm going to just tighten those all the way that's the maximum adjustability and then i'm just going to run the inner screws in barely tight barely tight so I've pulled that top hinge back as much as I can pull it back, basically. And still kind of have a, you know, because it's going to get smoke seal and all that. I've pulled it back as much as I can. And let's see. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's not hitting the latch leg anymore. That is great. That is exactly what we were trying to do. Even the, so the head gap even got better because it got pulled back. That latch leg gap is looking pretty even. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm gonna use some magnets to kind of hold everything closed so I can step back and look at it, get a better look. And it's looking pretty good. Um, it's looking pretty good, but I can tell I'm, um, I'm having the thought to myself, if I were to put a shim behind that middle hinge, I think everything would get even just a little bit better. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yep, I'm looking at that middle hinge. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shim that middle hinge back as well. And that's gonna make this opening just it's really gonna look as good as I can get it. You know, this is a really large welded frame with a you know, you see the side light. I don't know exactly what they call these, but it's uh it's a big frame. They welded they welded it together however they welded it together. All I care about is making sure that that door per portion looks really good. So uh, to do that, I think if I put one more shim here in the middle of this middle hinge and tighten those outer screws first to pull it back, I think it's going to look good. And so yeah, using my tip to kind of just put it in place, tighten those outer screws. And remember, this is a non-rated frame, non-rated wall, non-rated door. Um, so here, let me tell you quickly, the, the pros of this is I have the maximum adjustability by putting that hinge in the, the shim in the middle. The cons of me putting that shim in the middle is that later on, if this door gets dropped by someone who doesn't know exactly why I put the shims in the middle, and then they go and just screw it in without thinking about what screws they're tightening first. Uh, that could be a problem. Then that door is going to start hitting that latch leg again. Um, so that's one negative of shimming in the middle. But I love it because it, uh, it really lets me dial these doors in and make them look really good. So thanks so much for hanging out and uh, seeing one way to shim a door. One way to adjust a commercial door by shimming. And I'll have some more uh, shimming videos and more adjustment videos coming your way so you can see all the different ways we can adjust these commercial doors. So thanks so much. I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hardware.